Well, hello, everybody. Well, I took my square out. I wasn't happy with it. I, I didn't like how it was curling. And it's like, no, can't do that. So, took it out. We're going to start all over. And I am so mad at work. I'm at loss for words. But we'll get into that in a minute. But I have some squares. I've already started receiving squares. That's awesome. Amazing. So, wait, I already opened them. I apologize. But it was addressed to me by golly, and I opened. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't wait. I knew they were squares. I got overexcited. But um, let's see. This come from Gene from Wisconsin. It says, hi, Russ. Here's my square, Gene. Spring Green, Wisconsin. Oh, I don't think it's dark at all. I love this. Look at how beautiful that is. Let me move this hank of yarn. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. That is just stunning. I love that. I really like this. These colors right there. Look at the color. Them colors are gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now we've got the other one. You need to get up out of my way for a minute. All right. And you go. Keep that safe and sound. <clears throat> I have to do these so I'm not showing addresses. Okay, so this one is from Rhode Island. And all it says is Tuffle? Tuffle? I know I didn't say your name right, and I apologize for that, but that's just awesome. Oh, we have a letter. Roberta. Hi, Russ. I wanted to do more. Unfortunately, my fibromyalgia kicked in. These were done using Hobby Lobby yarn, 100% acrylic. If you need any more of this yarn, please let me know. I have five more schemes that I won't be using. Happy Thanksgiving. Roberta, thank you. That's awesome. And wait till you see these. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. And I don't know if you can see. Probably not. But there is like. Up oh, there's a fleck. There's a fleck. This yarn is full of flecks. Both of them. I got two of them. I'm I'm trying to get it so it shows the flecks, but oh, we all know how the lighting is. And these squares are identical. <laughs> identical. Which they should be, 10 by 10. 
I made it as easy as possible. I did, I did, I did. But those, them are the three that I've got. Um, I'm going away. I work tomorrow. And then I took Monday off. And um, so by taking Monday off and we're, we get paid for Thursday and Friday, so I'll have a four-day paycheck. But anyway, that how beautiful were them squares? I, I mean, it's like I can't, I'm a kid in a candy store, I'm telling you. <laughs> I can't wait to start putting these squares together. And when I come back from, I'm going out of town for Thanksgiving. Um, going to go see my dad. Uh, dad's not doing well. Um, the heart doctor told him, which we already knew. Um, but the heart doctor, there's nothing else they can do for him. Which we, we all knew that. So they upped his water pill. And that's all they can do. Is to keep as much water off the heart as possible. <sighs> so anyway. Um, I'm going there for the week. So I'll get out of work Monday morning. And from work I'm going to drive. To Fort Wayne. Um, we almost got the living room empty so we can bring the tree down. We got rid of like seven or eight totes. We got like seven or eight totes of yarn out of the living room. And there's still one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven totes. One, two, three, four, five. And there's six huge um, storage bags that's cloth and zippered, or some are vinyl with zippers. So that's how much yarn is left. And deliver them after getting rid of seven totes. What can I say? My channel's raining yarn. I, the how it's a monsoon. It doesn't rain. It's a monsoon. I'm telling you. But why I was doing all of that? Um. I dug through and pulled out some Christmas yarn. And I got some of this beautiful red and beautiful green. And these are Hershner's Worsted Jumbos. They're, it's, they're from their worsted line. This yarn is so soft. And this isn't sponsored. I bought this with my own money. But there it is. And I have a white jumbo. It's in the living room. But I have two red, two green, and a white. And it's Christmas. Now, I don't know what it's showing for you guys, but this, on my camera, it's showing kind of like a muted red, but it's a, it's a Christmas red. Um, it's a, it, the color is true red. In person, this is a true red. The green is showing up about right. And the color is dark moss. And you get it at Hershner's. And, you know, for 100% acrylic, 12 ounces, 743 yards. And as soft as this is, Oh, yeah. 
And I think it's seven forty nine for one. So it's like a penny a yard. A penny a yard. And then I found my actual Christmas yard. And that is just gorgeous. Um, and this is called Very Merry. But this is their worsted stripes. That's their worsted stripes. And I've showed you this yarn before in one of my videos. I'm just showing you what I dug out for Christmas. Um, which I probably won't even start anything. I've got too much going on with Dad. My arthritis work is just stupid. Um, and then I found this. This this was you bought all four. So you bought four of these. Um Fifteen ninety nine, sixteen ninety nine. They do have the center pole. Um, this is emerald green, and this is their. Uh, it was their celeb their celebrate packs. There it is, the worst that celebrate yarn, and you got four. Like I said, you got four of these for. Fifteen ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine, somewhere through there, but this one's called Christmas. This is called Christmas, and this yarn goes with the green that's in there, and then the white goes along with this, and then the red is Victorian. This is a it's showing. It's a little bit darker than what's on the screen, but all of these come together and there's 400 and 489 yards. So I'm sure Hirschner's will be having a Black Friday sale. Russ has no room. I'm sorry, I do not have no room. I would love to get on the Black Friday sales for the yarn companies. Russ has no room. And I've already given out. I've already given out. I don't know how many totes of yarn that we've emptied and I refilled. There's just, I have no room. I got four. I got. Um, Christmas yarn that I have to actually I got Christmas paper out so I've got yarn that I'm going to be wrapping and putting it into a box and mailing it out so those of you that are my friends and you watch my channel I'm talking close friends. We're all friends, but I'm talking close, close. Uh, Merry Christmas because you're getting yarn. <laughs> I, I just, I, I, uh, I'm at loss for words. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm just lost for words. I would love to make me a pair of socks. You see this beautiful yarn? It's a zobber ball, and it's lace, but I just love that color. I love them green. It's all greens. I know the that right there, it's showing up kind of like gray because it is. I thought it was a green, but no, it's a gray or a very, very, very light green. But anyhow, I want to make me a pair of socks out of it. Um, 
but it is their lace ball. And there's 880 yards in this one little ball. And these are expensive. These are $30, $35 a ball for one. I got five balls for $66. Um, on um, Little Knits. I love Little Knits. You want some high end yarn and you're on a budget, go to Little Knits. No, I'm not sponsored. I'm not getting nothing from them by advertising for them. I get nothing. But that's okay. I want you to know where to go to get some really high end yarn for pennies on a dollar because we all have to make our craft dollars go as far far as we can so i'm not a yarn snob i use acrylics i use cottons i use mixed i use all different fibers i use 100 percent wool i even use recycled yarn um eddie bauer come out with a line of yarn and it's all recycled yarn um, Lion Brand has their, um, like re-up or something like that. It's all 100%, um, polyester that's been recycled. So they've taken the plastic out of the landfill or however they do it, you know, and they spun it into yarn. It, that yarn's amazing. And no, I'm not sponsored by Lion Brand. I'm just just explaining. Um, so my my yarn consists of a lot of variety. I'm not a I'm not a fan of cotton, but I use cotton. I'm not. Like I said, I'm not a yarn snob. If you could come and shop through my yarn, you would definitely find out Russ is no yarn stop. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. I need a, I, I need a tail. Oh. Thank you. Put it right there. Okay, so. Let's try this again, shall we? Fourteen, six, seven, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Let's see if I can find my tape measure or did the or did the little ones cart it off. I'm voting for the little ones carting it off. Just saying. Was I right or was I right? I'm I'm telling you, if Tippy hears that I'm talking. She's going to come running because she's going to, uh, dad's on the, dad's on, dad's doing the show. Dad's doing the show. Got to go. Got to go. <laughs> oh, she's a little stink pot. Um, well, what did they do with my tape measure? <laughs> I know I've got one. I just... I just don't know what they've done with my tape measure. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Okay. I'm going to have to put you on pause just for a brief moment. <laughs> well, i got to find a tape measure. Okay, so. I just bought this. Bought it from Amazon. 
Um, it's a six outlet, and it's got three um, USB is over. Um, and it's a really nice braided cord, heavy duty. And me and Kevin needed this a long time ago. But <clears throat> because we have my phone, his phone, his laptop, my iPad, plus fan. And he's got cords going one way for his phone. He's got cords going another way for his laptop. I have cords going. <laughs> For my phone and my laptop, and I have to keep interchanging everything. So it's just like, we're done. I'm done. So I got a nice um, multi plug. And that's what we're using. And I got tape measure. I'm going to do my best to try and keep it in my drawer. So that way the kids don't get it. I said try. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't say it would happen. But I just need. I just want to make sure I get ten inches. That's it. I just want to make sure I'm getting ten inches. Nine. Okay, so now we got ten more. Let's see where we're at. Uh, we are at nine. So we'll just do three more. That should be pretty close to ten inches. One more stitch, and then we will be at 10. Bingo. <sighs> my oh my. So now we do one, two. Come on. Trying to do, I want to do a double. Okay, so now work. So here work's been on a kick. They want roto and vac form on the same schedule. But only if it's convenient for them. So we were supposed to have four days off this week. We are only supposed to work three days. Then we have four off. And then next week we are supposed to work Sunday and Monday and have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. Seven days in a row. Come back on Tuesday. And work Tuesday and Wednesday and be done. Well, Roto gets that schedule. Not VAC form. Oh, well, we got orders. We got orders. We got orders. You wouldn't let us build the orders. We should have been building the orders last week. But they kept saying, nope, 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 nope. Now, all of a sudden, 
It's, oh, well, now you guys have to work. Okay. <laughs> so you drug your feet. Now you're making us work through holidays because you didn't want us to do the work when we should have been doing the work. Well, it's, it's all about on-time delivery. We would have had on-time delivery if you would have let us build the orders when we should have been building the orders. And then we all could have been off the same amount of time. And then I'm, then I'm struck with, well, everybody needs money around the holidays. Yeah, everybody needs money. I understand that. But we also would like time with our families. Russ speaks his mind, I'm telling you. Because it's, it's, not, it's not fair. If if they would if the if it was fair, you know, I I I won't be mad. And but I just I'm not happy. Um, they're wanting, well, I shouldn't say they want. I've been trying to get them to put me on salary for years. And they kept, nope, 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 nope. Well, it looks like they're going to do it next year. Which then, once they do that, I can't really complain about when I work because I'm salary. They're paying me to be there. And, you know, I don't, I don't have a problem being at work. That's not my problem. And when I'm at work, I work. I don't. You know, it's, it's not like I just sit around. I actually work. Unlike some others there, I, I actually work. I, I have, I'm covered in grease. No matter how many times I shower, I'm covered in grease. Because Thursday night, when we had to work, While the oven was running, I didn't have anything to do. So it's like, I'm going to scrub out this machine. We don't get the, we don't get the opportunity to scrub the machine out. So it's like, Russ is going to scrub this machine. And I did. And the last time it got scrubbed out is when I scrubbed it. But, you know, that doesn't, scrubbing that machine out did not make me mad. It's the way that they do or don't do um, things equal. I'm going to double measure this just to make sure I got 10. And to make sure it's not curling. That drove that drove me nuts. So 
So we've got too many. We're at 11 and a half. So, one, two, three. We got to take. We got to take. That's why we measure. But I only got to take out three stitches, I, I believe. One, two, three. There we go. If it, <clears throat> if it was just like ten and a half, ten and a quarter, I would have went with it. One, two. Or if it was like nine and a half, nine point seven five, or nine and three quarters, I would have went with it. But I hope all of you are getting geared up for Thanksgiving. Oh, um, my Etsy shop. I will be closing that down sometime tonight. Because I'm not going to be able to send out orders while I'm gone. So I'll be shut, shutting my Etsy shop down just for the week. I will be back. I will have it back up and running after Thanksgiving or when I get back. But I'm going to be putting a lot of stuff up on my Etsy shop. I'm going to be putting yarn. And it's not going to be mystery yarn. You're going to know what you're buying. Uh, you're going to see what you're buying. And I'll have a couple of um, countdown boxes still up for sale. Because they all did not sell, which is okay. I'm not mad about that. Come on. I knew. I knew it. As, as soon as she heard Dad talking, here she is. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Yeah, you just had to come get some loving, didn't you? You heard <laughs> You heard Dad talking. It's like, I got to go. Dad's talking. It's time. You just want my yarn. That's all you want. You want my yarn. Don't you? <laughs> you just want my yarn. Is that what you want? You want that yarn? Mm -hmm. She's like, no, Dad. Right now, I just want my ears. <laughs> oh, silly girl. You know Dad loves you. Dad loves Rudy. And Grandma, sweet. Well, actually, it's your mama, sweet pea. And then Junior. Junior's not fond of the camera. I talk if I start talking, he goes and hides. He he don't he wants nothing of it. All right, all right. If you want to get in front of the camera, go. <clears throat> Crazy kid. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> so those of you that are in the state, or even if you're in another country, if you want one, it's just going to, you know, you can have one. It's just not going to be there in time. But those that are in the states, um, it, it's only going to take like three or four days to get to you. So if you, you know, want one at the beginning of December, you won't be that far behind by the time you get it. I do not have any acrylic left. The acrylic boxes are all gone. 
but I do have the hand dyed yarn from Aberdeen's and all the goodies. I think there's like 16 um, candy, food, and gifts. There's like 16 of them. So it's like every other day you can open up a gift. And I'm already planning next year's. Next year's is already in the works. I've already started um, buying gifts to be put in these boxes because next year is they're going to be out for sale way before. The countdown box for next year will be done because after Christmas, um, me and Kevin, we're going to start wrapping. We're going to start wrapping stuff. I just don't know what, what kind of yarn to put in these. I don't know if I want to do Aberdeen's again. Yeah, nice. hmm. Okay, then. We are just a little over 10 inches, but... We're going to call that good. We're going to call that good. One, two. One, two. Buckle my shoe. And I was looking through. Now, this is an actual book that teaches you how to crochet, okay? And I want, I want to show you. I can't show you all the instructions, but look how they teach you to do your edges. You see that? You see how wonky them edges are? It's like, and you're paying to learn how to do that. I don't like that. My, my edges don't look like that. No, no, no. And look at the edges on this one. That's a half double. And I just... I can't believe that this book is teaching people that that's I I don't like that. Those edges are not But anyhow, yeah, I just I just wanted to share that with you. Now, if you look on Come Learn With Me Crochet, it's in my playlist. Russ teaches you how to get them straight edges with crochet. So, I'll teach you how to crochet, and i also teach you how to get straight edges. Because I'm telling you, I cannot... Yeah. Uh 
I'm long-winded today. But I got Okay, so here we go. Hooks and needles. I don't like subscription boxes. I do not. Um, you get a pattern book, which I, and I can't show you the patterns because um, I'd get in trouble. But Um, I can show you that's the pattern is for the hat. This is their knitting box. This isn't their crochet box. But here's the knitting needle. And you get two sets. Why? I don't know. But this is air tube. This is air tube. And it's glued on to um, wood knitting needles. I like wood knitting needles. Don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah. And these are, this box is supposed to be high quality. Mm, I don't call it high quality. Um, you get, I got these sewing needles, which the sewing needles are good quality. And then I get this wood box with stitch markers. You get stitch markers and they are gold and they look like a light bulb but then this is that's all the yarn i got for 35 bucks now it's the yarn is you know that's their big hype made in italy made in italy yeah it's soft and it's 30% merino wool and 70% baby alpaca. It's soft, it's gonna be warm. But the rest is it's all you're paying fifteen dollars for packaging. So half the price of the box is packaging. Because these printed boxes are not cheap. I don't care if you buy um, twenty thousand of them at a time. Then boxes are not cheap to be printed like that. I know. I've already looked into it for my channel. Um, so, you know, hooks and needles, and we, me and their customer service have already went around and around and around. Um, it's overpriced, way overpriced. And that's the issue with these subscription clubs. They are way overpriced. Now, if you just want, if you don't care, you're pay overpaying, you know, by all means, have at it. I don't like subscriptions because they don't, it's not worth it. And that's one thing when I did the countdown box, it's like, you know, I have to make these boxes worth it. And I did. Um, I'm not making much money off the boxes, but you know what? At least I can go to bed at night knowing that I didn't rip people off. But 
that's what you know subscription boxes that's what happens to them people get tired of their um garbage patterns aren't right um you pay more for packaging than you do content it's like you know give give me a plain box it don't have to have nothing on it just give me a plain brown box with less paper shreds and more product give me an extra skein or two of yarn But that's, but that's what happens to subscriptions. People get tired and people stop buying and eventually they go out of business because they can't survive. All right. Yep, I think. I don't know if I got one or two left. Yeah, we're going. We're going to call this. This is the last stitch. So we got to go up in here. Thank you. Ooh. Okay. So now I I know I've only got two rows. You see my end? It's not all wonky. Come on. There we go. I wanted to. It wanted to twist. I wanted to twist my yarn. And it's like, no. That's better. I don't know if I will have a video up next week or not. Um, it will all depend on if I get a chance to film. I'll have all of my stuff with me in case I do get a chance to film. Once I get a couple of squares done, after I come back from Thanksgiving, um, I'm going to be going back to um, the best I can. I'm going to be going back to my blanket so I can hope to have that finished uh, by the end of the year. I'm hoping. But we are at 50 minutes. I think this is the longest I've ever done a video, I think.
and that knit that hooks and needles that was not sponsored. I bought that with my own money. Um, if it was sponsored, I would have had to send it back to them and, and tell it's like I can't. Um, yeah, I, I can't. I can't endorse. I can't endorse that. I, I, I just can't. What is wrong with my... Huh? Trying to get my there we go. Whew. I made some homemade macaroni and cheese yesterday, and I think I'm gonna dig it out of the refrigerator and warm it up. Because I'm hungry. Anyhow, I love you guys. And, you know, if you got questions, email me. Even if you just want to, if you're bored and you want to send an email, send me an email. It's okay. I'll respond when I can. Um, and don't worry about if you think you're rambling. It's okay. I don't mind. Uh so, anyway, I love you guys, and I will talk to you in my next video, okay? Have a happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Bye.